All right, guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to show you the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way to go tubeless. I've converted the tubeless many different ways, and this system always seems to work for me, and it costs extremely little. So let's get into it. What you're gonna need is your tire and tube, tubeless sealant, scissors, tire levers, tape, and some sort of thing to clean the rim. Isopropyl alcohol works, and obviously a pump. All right, so we'll start off by just letting the air and getting the tube out of the tire. Take the valve, place it aside. Let all the air out. We'll start opposite of the valve core. Unseat the tire from the bead. All the way around. On the other side too. Push it to the center of the rim. Makes it a lot easier to get off. And then grab your tire lever. Get that first side of the tire off. Go ahead find where the valve is, pull your tube off, and set it aside, careful not to mess up the valve. Take your tire, finish taking that off, and then you can go ahead and remove the rim strip. Set that aside for another day if you ever need it. On to the next step. All right, so what we'll go ahead and do next is we're gonna clean the rim. Just grab any rag, spray a little isopropyl alcohol on it, or any other type of cleaner. Just run it around the whole rim. This is so when we put the tape on, it sticks well and forms a good seal so we don't let any air out. Make sure, if you can, to try and get right where the bead hook is so you get a good seal. Doesn't hurt to clean on the outside of the room either so it doesn't get contaminated. There it is, nice and clean. Get the tape out. All right guys, so now we're gonna tape it up. I like to use the Gorilla Tape, 25 millimeter width. You can buy the fatter rolls and if your rims are wider, like in the 30 millimeter internal range, you can use that, but this stuff works perfectly. So I like to start opposite of the valve hole, right by the rim weld and just make sure it's nice and squared up nice and central and as you go around apply a good amount of tension around the entire rim as you go just try and press it down a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around but you want it as evenly spaced as possible and you want it to sit down into the rim bed, if you can. It's a lot cheaper to use this than the stance tape. It's like five bucks versus 20. And I've used it plenty times and had it in the rim for a whole year with no issues whatsoever. So that's what I go to now. All right, this is the step right here that's gonna save you a lot of money. And it gives you a use for your old tube. So instead of buying 15, $20 valves, you can just cut out the old one and just cut it, not extremely close, but a fair deal of the old tube out to get as close to it as you can without compromising its sealing abilities just like that and you can custom shape it depending on the shape of your rim just to get a good seal just about like that that'll do it and then 
go ahead and take this and put it in your rim. All right, as you can see, just like a valve you would buy, it fits in there perfectly. And it will seal up pretty good, we'll see. So just put the lock ring on fairly tight. You don't have to over tighten it. Just push down and just snug with your fingers. You don't want to break anything. And go ahead and put the tire back on, which I will do now. So I know it almost goes without saying, but before you put your tire on, make sure you're putting it on the right way. It can be easy to forget. Everybody's done it once or twice. Let's go place the bead on. All the way around. Sometimes easier to do sitting down. Just like that. If you can avoid using a tire lever, it's always good. And then seat the tire not all the way around on the other side, but most of the way. And leave a spot to put the ceiling in. Make sure it's on by the valve core. You can go ahead and leave a spot over here. Just like that. So you can see there's still a space to put the ceiling in. But it's sealed up everywhere else. So we're going to do that now. Alright, so we got our sealant. Going ahead and measure out roughly 100 milliliters. Doesn't have to be exact. That's a good guideline. And that's for 27.5, 2.4. So you can vary that depending if you have a 29 or not. I'll about do it. It's alright if you get a little on the rim. Go ahead and Set that aside so it doesn't spill. Pick your tire up, rotate it around so the sealant does not spill out, and finish seating this. You may need to use a tire lever just a little bit at a time, don't go crazy, just like that. Go ahead and clean that up before it hardens on the rim. And we'll go ahead and seat this. All right, so we got this all inflated. I have a Bontrager flash charger, which is cool because you can pump up a reservoir and it works like an air compressor. But you can do it just as well with any other pump. So I'll go ahead and kind of depress the tire by the valve. Let the air out and it should seat. Like magic. Just like that. Give it a few extra pumps just to get the tire pressure up to about 40. Let it seal. And I'm sure you guys know. Just to go ahead and shake the tire around. Especially by the valve, it tends to leak out there, but just a couple bounces should do a trick. And there it is. Tubus tire. Super cheap, super easy, super quick. If you liked the video please subscribe like it leave a comment if you have a question or anything you want to voice your opinion about and we'll see you on the next one